for you? Uh, yeah, I just, you know, um, I always have a goal. I'm trying to play at the next level. Mm -hmm. And I knew I was going to have to come back to give myself a better chance. So it's kind of a no-brainer to me. And uh, I love this team. And, you know, a good, another year is, is always good regardless of the outcome. So, I saw on Twitter you, you, you wrote something along the, line of, along, along the lines of, like, you're all counting me out or something like that. How much a motivator are you? How much do you feel like you have to prove, you know, in your final year here? Uh, man, I'm here to play. Uh, I'm not really worried about nobody else right now. Uh, you know, I just want to go out, play my best, my best ball, and be able to have fun and you know let it all let it all loose. You know, if this is the last year, I ever played football. I want to make sure I have no regrets. Uh, hopefully not, but you know, I'm just I'm ready to go out there and, and let it all loose. What does motivate you then? You said what does? Yeah. I mean, I let a game. Uh, I don't I don't play this game for anything else than the fact that you know it's fun to me. I love it. And so just my love for the game, my love to be out there with my teammates, you know, that just motivates me to just keep going. If you want to play football at the next level, what do you got to do over the next year to get there? What, what kind of strategy have you come up with to get better? Yeah, man, I want to work on my speed for sure. Uh, you know, last year I was real focused on my weight. Um, this year I really want to focus on my speed, my quickness, uh, you know, my acceleration and, you know, uh, continue to get that connection with Taylor. Uh, we've been doing good, keeping up and uh, throwing as much as we can. And I just want to be able to come out and play my best ball regardless. The connection with Taylor and the fact that Taylor is here, what kind of role did that play in terms of him being a quarterback and the relationship you have with him? Uh, you know, Taylor's my dog, man. He, uh, I mean, it's a Texas guy for one, so we get each other, uh, you know, we get each other, man. Uh, when I go back home, we, we try to throw. We, I see him when I'm back home. Um, so that relationship, man, it just, I mean, it's like all the other relationships, man. It's just one hour hold forever. Uh, regardless of, uh, you know, anything, that's, just, that's gonna be a brother forever. It could be a very crowded wide receiver room. Is it possible for one guy to stand out or are you guys going into this mentality of let's just all be equal across the board? I mean, I'm not going to mentality worried about none of that, man. I'm, I'm worried I'm worried about, you know, making sure I'm able to do my best and able to put, you know, everything on the line for, you know, my team and myself. So, I mean, as far as, you know, the stats or well, all that other stuff, man, I'm, I'm not worried about that. I just want to be able to play my best right now. You see what Taylor did last year? You got your backs back, your receivers. I mean, how, how good could this offense be next year? I mean, it could be really good. I mean, like I said, it just all comes down to, uh, you know, everybody's just putting in that work, really. Um, it comes down to myself doing all I can right now, uh, Taylor getting the connections with all the receivers and just making sure we're getting everything rolling. I mean, we have a new offense coming up, so we got to get in our playbooks, make sure, uh, you know, we're getting all squared away and good with that. So, you know, it's just, it's like every, it's like every year, man. It's time to work right now and, you know, we'll, we'll figure everything out as we go on with our journey. What's it like learning a new offense? Take us through that process. I mean, it's going to be the third offense out to learn. I mean, you, it all starts with the basics. You want to make sure you know the foundation, formations, the uh, structure, how everything's going. And then, um, you know, kind of with that, I mean, it kind of just sticks with you. Uh, me personally, I play, me personally, how I learn, I, I got to walk through this stuff. So. I go, we went and line up formations, uh, learn new formations. We'll go and do, you know, learn a new motions or whatever new is. We go and do it physically. And that's kind of how it sticks with me. Everybody has their own process, but me personally, that's how I do it. What have you learned so far about Bush Hamden's <laughs> offensive philosophy? Um, that he tries to be explosive uh, every play. I mean, there's not really a play or a time where he's just trying to get, you know, a small amount of yards. He's, he's trying to make, make something happen. Um, and I like that about it. Uh, the way he talks, the way he has trust in us. Um, so, I mean, we're, we're here to make big plays and make these happen. I know it's early, but compared to what you guys ran under Plow and Cutter, how different is his offense going to be? Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure uh, 100%. I mean, um, like you said, this is real new for us. We're, we're, we're going step by step. You know, you don't just jump in and just start learn, trying to learn all the concepts. I mean, you got to know the foundation, know the structure, everything. So we're kind of um, trying to find the structure first, make sure we got – um, the basics, right, before we just hop into, you know, uh, real deep into the playbook for real. So I know, you, I know you got banged up last year, but you, you look at, like, the offense throughout the course of the year, and, I mean, it. you guys obviously had to adjust multiple times throughout the year. It, was there a game last year, though, where it looked like, like, that's what you guys think it'll look like, you know, in terms of whether it be tailing, throwing the ball, running the ball, whatever it might be? Is there is there a game last year that stands out to you, like, kind of wanted to look like that? Uh, I mean, no, not really. I mean, we go into a game plan every week uh, just based off who we're playing. You know, we got to do to get the dub uh, for that week. So uh, every team is going to be different. Our team's different. There, no team's going to be the same as it was the year before. So, um, no, nah, I can't really say that for sure. But I just know we're going to go in 
and we're going to have a plan for, you know, each week um, to execute. The day you uh, stepped on campus, if someone said you're going to be here for another six years, what would you have thought? Uh, well, 2018, I don't think that's possible. So, um, sure. but with this COVID year, I mean, it's a real blessing. Um, and I'm, I'm really thankful for it to be able to, you know, um, come out and, uh, you know, have another year to play. Three years ago today, Kobe Bryant died. Did that impact you at all? Were you a Kobe guy? Uh, I mean, I think everybody is, you know what I mean? But um, I remember when it happened, like, I didn't really, I didn't believe it. I was, you know, nah, nah, that's fake, you know, and I was kind of, uh, I don't I don't know what you call it, but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't believe it for a while. Then when, you know, when I found out to be true, I mean, it was just like, like damn, like, I, don't, I don't know what to say, but, you know, that's somebody that, uh, I think he, because uh, you know we watch his videos, uh, watch his interviews, and how he uh, how he had that certain uh, mentality when he stepped uh, on the field or on the court, um, how he had that mentality off the court uh, was always working, and so I think that's somebody that I mean really any athlete uh, kind of looks up to and and you know mods that or you know use that for motivation. Seems like it seems like every year there's more Texas guys on this roster. I mean, how do you guys push yourselves, and what does it mean to you to have so many guys from your home state here playing playing in Boise? Uh, I mean, I think it just speaks uh, a lot about the program. I mean, for somebody to come all the way from Texas, you know, all the way to Idaho, Idaho Boise, Idaho, I mean, I think it speaks volume. Like, um, me personally, and I think we're talking to other people from Texas, I mean, they feel the culture, they feel the love that uh, the team brings, the city brings. And so, I mean, it's a good feeling to know that, you know, this is something that I'm a part of something that's bringing people from, you know, thousands of miles away um, up here to make their new home and they're feeling comfortable doing it. So. Um, it's just a good feeling to know that I'm a part of a family, um, a community, and a team that's uh, comfortable with people from way out the state. Is there a big group of you guys that are going to get together and kind of work when you, when you guys are at home? I mean, we always try to find work. Um, the thing with Texas is really big, so uh, uh, being from Texas isn't uh, doesn't mean you're just 20 minutes away. Sure, I mean, yeah, yeah. So we gotta we gotta we always try to find you know a midpoint where we can meet um, and work. And you know we always try to do our best to try to meet up and you know see see each other around. Steph, with you know as you go into to year six, what what do you know now that you didn't know you know when you first got here that might make you a better football player? And I mean back you know down to like you know prehab rehab, like how you're going to approach your you know fifth sixth spring here. Like what do you what do you know now that you didn't know then that will make you better? Uh, every detail matters. I mean. You know, I think this is uh, something that everybody, you know, when they move levels from high school to college and then even talking to people, uh, even talking to people like Shaq and the people that's in the ne next league, like every detail, the smaller, the smallest things begin to matter more. And so uh, I tend to focus, try to focus on that um, a lot more. The smallest things, like you said, rehab, prehab, I mean, 18 years old, you know, you really don't got to worry about that. But, uh, you know, now I make sure I, I keep my body right. I keep, I, I make sure I'm eating right, drinking water. I'm making sure when I work out, I'm, I'm, I'm focusing on the, the smallest details and making sure I'm getting everything in line to be able to, you know, translate that to the field this year. I feel like I remember you saying something about you, you drink a lot more water now too, like one of the last times we talked to you. What, yeah. what, what goes into that? Why is that important? Uh, I mean, you always got to hydrate. Uh, I mean, the amount of running we do, the amount of things we do, it's, it's kind of it's, it's like, you know, we're doing everything uh, almost like repeated. Like, it's not like we have a lot of time, uh, a lot of time to, you know, just sit back and, you know, um, what's the word? Relax. I don't know, heal, I guess. Yeah, but, heal. you know, when you when you lift and then you come back the next morning, you got to run and lift again. Uh, water plays a big factor in making sure your body's being able to recover and, you know, get right for the next day. So I could not only, you know, feel good, but uh, still improve physically instead of trying to make sure I'm just surviving work. I want to make sure I, I flourish and then, you know, get better from it. You, you mentioned, Taylor, what is the most exciting way about the way, you know, how you guys are attacking January, maybe you know, compared to last January, the January before. But like, what's the most exciting thing about the way you're attacking this January with him? Uh, I mean, just the year he's had. I, I think he's coming in a lot more confidence. He's being uh, a lot more vocal, uh, 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 a bigger leader. You know, coming last year, I think he, uh, was he a redshirt freshman. You know, he he still was talking to us and still. But now I'm thinking he's knowing like, okay, he's the, he's he's in that leader role. He needs to you know bring in the younger guys too as well, uh, show him, show them the ropes and, you know, we're focusing a lot more on our past game and our connection and stuff, but he's also focusing a lot more on how he needs to run and, you know, lead the team as well. Thank you.